Hello, and welcome to a brief introduction of some of the new, exciting features in LightWave 8. In this demo, I'd like to show you an example of uh, some of the new dynamics. In this case, uh, it's cloth dynamics. And what we have here is a couple collision objects that will pass and brush up against the skirt, and the skirt's going to react. Now, that's something that you could have done in Motion Designer. I would argue that you couldn't have done it as easy as you can now with the new cloth effects. But what you couldn't do before that, that I'd like to show you is if I scrub the slider a little bit, now the, the dress is being torn away into a skirt. Now, this, is, this scene is already set up, but what I'd like to do is show you how easy it is to set up something uh, very similar to this, to basically have the cloth torn away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clear the scene, and let's load up an object to work with. And I've got one here, so test. It's a simple object to work with. And let's take a look. Now, one of the things that I did with this object was in Modeler, I made some selection point sets along the edge here, and I labeled them fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Properties tab, and we've got a new tab here in Object Properties called Dynamics. And I'm going to click on that. And from the Add Dynamic dropdown, I'm going to go ahead and choose Cloth. Click on that so I can get my settings here. And under the Basic tab, under Fix, which are the points that I want to lock in place, I'm going to choose the point set that I've labeled Fix. It just made it that much easier for me to find it. Okay, so those are going to be fixed in place. Now I need to set up some basic settings for the rest of the object so that I can have it react uh, with the dynamics. So I'm going to come over and add gravity, and let's just add negative 9.8. Uh, which someone told me one time that that's real world gravity and so I've always used that and I'm gonna just use a preset right now let's let's go ahead and pick we've got a few to pick from I'm gonna pick cotton thin and then let's go ahead and calculate that in the background you see that the cloth it falls down the gravity is pulling those points down now what I want to do is I want to sew those t two pieces together like uh, you saw with the dress uh, that was being torn away to reveal the skirt. Well, in this I'm going to sew those together. So I'm going to come over to the sewing tool. My mother would be so proud. I'm not sure what my father would think about that, but let's go ahead and go with this. So with the sewing tool I'm going to left click this point and I want to sew it to this point. So I'm going to right click this point and choose sewing right down here. And I'm just going to go down the row here and sew these points together. Okay, so I'm done sewing those. Let's recalculate to see. And as we see here, the points are sewn together. Now, to take it a step further, I'm going to uh, close this panel and, and load in. I want to cut these points now that they're sewn together. So, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and increase this to 120 frames so we have a little more to work with and I'm going to from the dynamic objects I'm going to add a collision object now the one setting that I'm going to change I'm going to leave it all default but the one setting I'm going to change is the mode instead of having it set to bounce I'm going to have it set to event so that when this this object becomes an event and when the event object passes through the points something will happen and in this case we're going to want it to cut so let's go ahead and close this down. I'm going to turn auto key off so that we can set our keyframes. And uh, I'm going to start by raising this up out of the way. And I'm going to keyframe that at zero. And then I'm going to, let's see, I want, it, I want to make sure that the cloth sags down enough so that we can see that in action, which is at 60. So at 60, I'm going to leave the uh, collision object up there. And then I want it to pass through at 80. So I'm going to pass it through the object at 80. So our animation looks something like this. The cloth falls down, and then the collision object will pass through. Now all I need to do is, is tell uh, cloth effects that, that I want something to happen when this event object passes through. Okay, So let's uh, load up properties come back over to where we did our sewing okay and 
I'm going to, we're on the link node seven, which is this one right up here, that's linked to the node 27. And for event, I'm going to say cut by event. Okay, might be easier if we move over to frame zero so that we can see down the list. I'm gonna click on the sewing tool and it's gonna jump us down to the next set and I'm gonna pick cut by event. Sewing tool again, jumps us down. And I'm just gonna go down to each one of those uh, link nodes that we set up. And then I'm just gonna kinda toggle through and make sure I've got all of them, and I do. So now let's go ahead and calculate. And there we go. Let's, uh, let's take a look. We have it fall down, the collision object passes through, and we get it cutting apart. Now, the other thing that I can do, I'll just show you one last thing and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap this up. Um, we have the edit tool. What the edit tool allows us to do, I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit tool. It allows us to select each point. Now this line that you're seeing here, this curvy little line, that's the motion path for this point. And I can edit that. This, this saves tons of time for you because you can do a calculation, change the uh, animation of each point to match exactly what you want without having to recalculate. Talk about a workflow enhancement. This, is, uh, this has saved me lots of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a look. Now I can move the entire point and its motion path, or I can get precise and from this drop down, I can, it's set to all right now, I can edit the current frame and everything after it, the current frame and everything before it, or I can edit just the current frame. So if I want, I can go in and start editing, go to the next frame, edit, go to the next frame, edit, next frame, and I've just edited the path and I'm ready to go. I don't need to recalculate. I can just scrub through and, and see the animation change. So this is just a brief introduction of cloth effects. Uh, stay tuned for more demos of Lightwave 8. We'll be, uh, we'll be creating some throughout the next couple weeks. And uh, stay tuned. Thanks.